Hello and welcome to An Englishman in the Balkans with me, David. And this channel is all about my life and experiences here in the Western Balkans. This week in the village there's been tons and tons of work. Tam and I went for a walk the other day uh, down to the River Verbas, which is about two kilometres just over there. Uh, it's the main river that runs through this part of uh, northwest Bosnia Herzegovina. I think it will, runs actually or flows from the middle of the country all the way north where it meets the River Sava about 35 kilometres north near the uh, town of Gradiška, and then it flows away uh, down towards Serbia and the River Danube. Well, during late last autumn and uh, the winter as well, a lot of natural debris fell into the drainage ditches that are all over this uh, flat plain where we live. Actually, we live on the end of the plain, uh, which finishes around about Banja Luka, and then, of course, you've got the mountains of Middle Bosnia. So they got full and full of rubbish, I suppose natural rubbish. And then, of course, we had the snow, followed by the torrential rains, which meant that everything that was thawing and everything that wanted to get away, uh, the rainwater, had to flow somewhere and it flows down the hills looking for the rivers and streams. And of course in this area, they were all blocked. So you may have seen on some of my Instagram and Facebook updates that there was um, flooding, considerable flooding again uh, in the area. But uh, a lot of work has been carried out over these past few weeks and it was a real pleasure to see that the ditches have now been cleaned out and also down towards uh, the river where our smaller river, and I'll try and pronounce it for you now, the Turinitsa meets. Uh, they've had diggers down digging away the banks uh, of the small river so that more water can flow into the main river of the Verbas uh, and then away. And it also looks like uh, we've become a bit of a good location it seems uh, for anglers uh, on our walk down there were just so many anglers now um, on the river back in the garden there's also been a lot of work here as well uh, Tam's father Predrag has been finishing off his pruning uh, and burning off uh, all those dead twigs and branches and uh, leaves so the garden is looking very very tidy at the moment but what will be uh, the pièce de résistance, the kitchen garden here. Um, Predrag's had uh, one of the guys from the village here with his tractor and has been ploughing up this small field that we have just outside the house. Um, that's now been completed uh, and he'll be back I think next week with a different tool on the back of his tractor and everything will be graded down so the soil will be nice and fine ready for Predrag to start uh, sowing the seeds of all the vegetables and fruits that he wants to grow this year. And he's already started with some spring onions uh, and some lettuces. A mad flurry then of work as we get these wonderful blue skies, these nice sunny days with an average temperature now of 15 Celsius. Next weekend we'll be up into the lower 20s and that's why I love it here. It's just so nice to wake up in the morning and not to worry about having the heating on or putting on too many warm clothes. So that's it from this edition of An Englishman in the Balkans. I hope you liked it. Please like, share and subscribe. It would mean so much and your comments and questions Always, always appreciated, and I'll try my very best um, to answer them. So from Tam and me, Tam's not here at the moment, uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe wherever you are. <laughs>